Hey everybody, Pastor Tony here. I wanna make you aware of something that I would love for you to attend. As you know, we have a midterm election coming up on Tuesday, November the 8th. And there's something called Proposal 3 on there. I'm sure you're familiar with it, at least somewhat. Proposal 3 is so much more than about women's medical health rights. It's so much more than about abortion. Abortion's bad enough. But really, it's about taking parents' rights away to push an agenda that I believe is a society that is drifting further and further and further away from God. So we need to get involved. In fact, I want to read something that you're probably familiar with this scripture, but it says in 2 Chronicles 17, verses 14 and 15, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. Now my eyes will be open and my ears attentive to prayer made in this place. See, you and I need to get involved. It says here, if my people, that's you and I, the ones who are the people of God, will pray and then turn from their wicked ways. We need to pray. We need to vote effectively. And so I'm giving you an opportunity to join us on, on Wednesday, November the 2nd. That's next Wednesday. Of course, you probably know we have a prayer service every Wednesday, a Sikh service. We're going to dedicate the whole service to praying around this election and Proposal 3 in particular. The Bible tells us in the book of Peter that judgment starts with the house of God. You and I need to be aware that God is looking to us to pray, to stand in the gap. I've attached to this video a video that I'd love for you to watch. It is a prophetic word given by Dutch Sheets about what God wants to do, I believe, in these last days in the state of Michigan that will affect our whole nation. So you and I need to be involved. We need to be praying. We need to get actively involved. Uh, we need to vote. So I encourage you to do that, but please join us on Wednesday, November the 2nd, that's next Wednesday at 7 p.m. as we pray over this election and do what God calls us to do, to pray, to seek his face, to repent, and see him work in our land. In Jesus' name, amen.